Rio de Janeiro is in the midst of a foodie revolution, and in a hundred days with the Summer Olympics, the world will feast upon its rich culinary flavors. And at the forefront of this movement are young, inspired, classically trained chefs like Elia Schramm. I started cooking as a professional when I was 22. I tried a lot of school before, in fact, but I never finished, I never graduated. And I decided to try my luck and see new challenges. I went for a cooking school here in Rio, which is called Estacio, and was there where I started to cook. What are the staples of Brazilian cuisine? Brazil is a very big country. It's like the US. Each region has their specialities and a special and local dishes. Is the food in Rio different than the rest of Brazil? Rio once was the capital of Brazil, so we have the food all over Brazil in Rio. It's kind of New York food in the U.S. Yeah. And there's no better place to sample Brazil's rich culinary diversity than in one of its most famous botecos, Bar de Momo, in the neighborhood of Tijuca. Boteco is a place where cariocas, people born in Rio, they come to hang out, have a beer. It's like the cafe for the Parisians or a pub for the Brits. This is Toninho, the owner. Hi, Toninho. Prazer. These are my friends. Uh, Vai de que, meu camarada? Eu vou de cerveja gelada e as delícias da tua cozinha. Especialidade da casa. Especialidade da casa. Não, deixa comigo. Beleza. Beleza. Quem te resolve? What did you just do? Still sizzling, pulled straight from the fryer, what arrives at the table is golden perfection. Potato and salted codfish cakes and bolino geohoige, rice balls filled with pork sausage and mozzarella cheese. Oh, you just go for it. Oh my goodness. Delicious. <laughs> It's so good. You need to try this. It's like arancini. Exactly. Farol de milha. What is this? Wow. This is a kind of uh, boteco version of your brisket. Wonderful. Pass the test. This is amazing. Lovely and comforting and salty and I love me some eggs. At the Bottega, is it all comfort food? Cariocas, they are comfort in everything they do. And when it comes to food, it's the same. Botecos is always about to be welcome and to be comfort and really, it's not formal. Do you incorporate sort of the street foods in your restaurant? Yeah, I work in a modern restaurant and of course the inspiration can come everywhere. I, I got inspiration from Toninho here and I also got inspiration from Thomas Keller in the French Laundry in the US. In fact, I have a fancy version for the codfish cake. You like those, you kept talking about yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We try. should learn how to do it. I would love that. It's very Will you good. teach us? Of course, it's easy. Located in MAM, the modern art museum of Rio, La Guiole provides patrons with a fine dining experience in the heart of the city center. Everything that we try to do here is to give a modern touch to classical recipes. First thing to do is to chop the onion. Do you need some help or are you good on your own? I need a little help. Do like this, you're going to cut your fingers. Okay, you we do not better. want that. Now, this is a classic Brazilian comfort food, but how do people feel when you're updating the classic? I think Brazilians, they are very traditional when it comes to food, but slowly they are learning new influences beyond Whoa, the food. That was yeah. my, my yeah. you know, I'm going to lose that. Up, yeah, you just messed up your manicure. No, you almost <laughs> lost a finger. Right, but they're so, pretty thin. Huh? Yeah, they're good. They're very good. So, the chopped onions, melted butter. I'm just going to bring it to slow heat. We're going to add the potatoes. mashed potatoes, chopped coriander, shredded cod, chopped chives, some ground black pepper. Always ground it at the last minute. And a nice spoon mm. of confit onions. Getting hungry. So, we have already three. One for you, one for you, and one for oh, me. Oh, perfect. So let's fry them. This is really low fat. light and low fat. <laughs> of course, of course. The people of Rio, they are very worried about the body. That's why I think they chose to, to do the Olympics here. It's a sports city, but they like to eat heavy food. On a bed of pureed tomato, we plate our cod cake with dehydrated black olives and lemon and lime segments for saltiness and acid. Microgreens for freshness, bell pepper rosettes and basil infused olive oil for complexity. And then crowned with caviar, this simple Brazilian dish is a work of art worthy of the museum in which it was created. 
a little different than the Boteca, huh? Yes, yeah, okay. <laughs> This is the first class edition. I mean, look where we're sitting. It's different, but it's not a matter of being better or worse. It's just uh, a different interpretation. I love anything fried, but it feels light still. I love the richness from the caviar. I like the crunchiness of the panko. Did you feel the sweetness mm. from the comfy onions? It tastes so good. You really are an artist. Very glad that you like it. All right, so we've had the classic. And the modern. Modern luxury, my yes. friends. <laughs> What's for dessert? 